Hi wrestling fans, thanks for clicking the Dreaded D Rose report. The only report on the internet that comes back like a bad penny. Hey, uh, I'll let you know a little inside information on uh, what goes on in WWE. Uh, noted before, old, uh, Triple H is now listed, believe it or not, as Executive Vice President of Talent Relations on WWE's corporate website instead of John Laronitis. Well, I kind of thought maybe he was going to be fired, uh, at least on screen. But anyway, he said that this is a change making it official, I guess, uh, what's been the case for a while, that uh, Laronitis has uh, worked under Triple H, and Triple H has hired new people like Canyon uh, Seaman and uh, Jane Gaddis. Uh, Gaddis is Vice President of Talent Relations and doing a lot of the work Laronitis used to do. Uh, Siemens is uh, running talent relation or talent development and is reporting to Triple H. But Laronidas, he had many of his duties reduced as of late and expectations that uh, his job's going to will be changed in some form down the line as Triple H puts his own hires into key positions. Uh, Laronidas is still booking WWE live events, but the writers are more involved in it that, uh, as they were in the movement within the company to make the live events more like uh, television shows because whenever a lot of uh, fans you know went to a live event uh, on a Sunday or something like that we always expected that uh, it could be taped could be and you see no television cameras or anything so and it's kind of disappointing and you don't see all the pyros and things uh, which are expensive but anyway Larry Nitus is doing uh, uh, the talent payroll but uh, has been spending more time on the road as a talent now, one thing I uh, kind of complain about, and people should in WWE, is ever since John Laronitis has been um, on screen, it really hasn't done any good for the ratings. In fact, it's went down. All once you get a burst of a bubble with uh, uh, Vince coming back, you see you know, what we missed. So Laronitis is not doing WWE really any good, except he's taking heat, uh, on screen uh, heat that uh, Vince gets and got him on himself. Let's Vince do whatever he does. All right, uh, Tomiko um, Fatu, younger brother, of, or rather younger son of former WWE star Rikishi has been training with his father at, a, uh, at his wrestling school in California. Uh, Tomiko is uh, either 18 or 19 years old and just looks just like his father in the face, which my condolences out to Tomiko. F4W Online reports that uh, Randy Orton tested positive for elevated levels of a testosterone. I have that all the time. And anyway, it caused him to fail a WWE wellness test and be suspended for 60 days. Anyway, Orton was telling people that he took a tainted supplement that contains the testosterone, causing him to fail. Orton reportedly said he didn't do it on purpose, but it was, uh, it was acknowledged that he should have been more careful. And yes, I believe everybody should be more careful about what they put in their mouth. I don't know people that puts things in their mouth and they have no idea what it is, but apparently he, he did it. Superluchas.net uh, earlier reported, of course, Orton tested positive for uh, uh, Dianabol, uh, oral effective antibiotic steroids that's commonly used for bodybuilders until Congress banned it uh, under the Controlled Substance Act. Those reports still are unconfirmed. Could be true, but some confirmed. While some of the best talent in FCW, like Seth Rollins, Antonio Cicero, um, Cassius Ono, uh, Dean Ambrose, came from the independent scenes, there's belief that the independent scene is not producing enough talent with WWE potential. And with that belief, along uh, with uh, Triple H's building of his management team with people experienced in other sports, gives you the idea that his direction with the development is. Uh, he's also, uh, they are going to, with the idea that sign up top level athletes and teach them to be wrestlers will develop a kind of marquee type guy that could be superstars. Now I still say, they always got on Vince uh, because he always wanted the big built guy, the muscular, the monsters, the... It's true, though. That's what we want to see. I like yesterday. I said, "Well, you want to see this guy on the street out here come in? He may be the best wrestler in the world, but he's not attractive. Not looks like, but he's not attractive." 
You don't see my ass on there every day uh, wrestling. And anyway, that ought to prove my point. Hey, WWE is trying to open a relationship with the U.S. Olympics team so they can have an in for a progressive, uh, prospective uh, Olympic athletes who either don't quite fit, make the team or uh, those that do well but are in other sports uh, that there's no professional leagues on. So they want to get in there and snatch somebody up that don't make it. All right, where was I? WWE is trying to open a relationship with the Olympics, I was telling you that the uh, committee, uh, so they can have an in for prospective uh, Olympic athletes uh, who either don't quite make the team or those that do well, but are in sports where there's no professional leagues at. So they just wanna, <laughs> they wanna find the, the biggest loser too, so they can get them up. And WWE would be interested in, of course, wrestlers, but uh, they feel that they uh, would be making, uh, they would, uh, they're interested to make a star out of, let's say, weight men uh, such as shot putters, uh, disc throwers, you know, the Olympic weightlifters and stuff, uh, which could be a good deal. I mean, look how long Mark Henry's been there. Whew. FCW and, uh, you know, they, that's Kurt Angle, he was there. FCW brought in about 23 to 35 athletes this past week, some with ex experience as uh, independent wrestlers, but mostly, you know, successful college wrestlers. So maybe they're looking uh, for wrestlers to be doing some wrestling. Wouldn't that not be nice? Anyway, uh, that they were recruited by Ger Gerald Briscoe. Uh, the wrestlers were told if they signed with WWE, they would be, you know, value, uh, they would value them more if they continued and finished their studies in college, as opposed to quitting school and starting developmental right away. But <laughs> WWE's hurting, get them. WWE is still talking about doing some uh, tryouts in foreign countries such as the UK and Australia. People in FCW have been told that the developmental is changing for the better with different structure and a different schedule. There's some uh, concern at FCW about uh, what's happening since old Tom Pritchard was released and head, uh, as head trainer. Uh, no explanation on his departure was ever given there. Under Triple H, the idea is to structure the entire developmental process and talent relations like WWE is a major sports company. Uh, duh, you are. What? Sports? Where did you get that word from? I thought it was entertainment. And as noted before, I hate this. Kelly Kelly has taken some time away from WWE, but some of the people do not expect her to return. The ATA agency uh, that represents Kelly is uh, pitching her for scripted TV shows as well as a, a potential reality show, which I wish they would get over that reality show crap. Of course, with her, it could be good. Kelly uh, also uh, has offers, you know, for her to come away uh, from high, uh, from placing high on the Maxim 100 list this year. That helped her out a ton. And notable that WWE didn't give her a full contract release, but they aren't thrilled that uh, she has, you know, someone else pitching for her uh, outside gigs. And uh, hey, she could bring in some uh, people who hadn't watched WWE. And uh, we noted before that, uh, oh, Shane McMahon, his company called U, Y-O-U, is now listed on the NASDAQ exchange and the company head, uh, company head, uh, rang the bell at the start of trading this past week. Uh, McMahon was uh, reached uh, deals with several Hollywood studios to bring movies to China. The company lost $4.8 million this last quarter and McMahon had to loan the company $3 million of his own money uh, back on May 10th. Uh, maybe they should find somebody else other than Shane. Of course he did put some money in on it. but All right. Twitter announced uh, this week that WWE is now one of the 12 new partners that will be testing out new interactive tweets. Expanding uh, tweets will feature WWE audio, video, and photos. Uh, the new feature are uh, already on Twitter, uh, normal uh, website, and the uh, mobile site, and will roll out on iPhone and Android apps soon. You know, it's just going to be just about like going to the internet, isn't it? Audio and video and pictures. Ooh. <clears throat> First uh, week of pre-orders of WWE uh, 13 video game were up 250%. Uh, 
from the first week of pre-orders of uh, WWE 12 video game last year. And it's interesting to note that uh, Rey Mysterio's suspension is up in less than two weeks, but he's not advertised for any live events yet. WWE is now selling tickets uh, four packs for this Sunday's No Way Out pay-per-view at the Izod Center, East Rutherford, New, New Jersey. The package is selling for 60 bucks. Not bad. I don't know where you're going to be watching the show at, but mm, if you got a binoculars and telescope, you might be all right. Uh, John Cena is being announced at the World, uh, see, Wizard World uh, Chicago Comic Con uh, on Thursdays, October 9th. Please make a note of it at the Donald Stevenson Convention Center in Rosemont, Illinois. Cena's going to be appearing with fans uh, probably about 4 o'clock to 8 p.m. Punk's going to be appearing at the same convention on the 12th of August, uh, 2 p.m. And other wrestling stars, uh, including, uh, including Booker T, Lita, John Morrison, Kevin Nash, Maurice, and Molina. Mark Henry recently spoke with uh, uh, Kevin W. on Hot 93.7 about his retirement plans and more. And they're on the internet. So I'll let you look. Hey, the release of uh, The Taker, Undertaker, Streak, on July 24th in North America and in August overseas is the content's going to be the first disc. is going to be The Beginning, The Dark Days, Badass, Dead Man Returns, Championship level, treat ver uh, streak versus career, end of an era, and the streak. That's all on disc. And normally it's right at two hours long. Uh, disc two is going to be him taking on. It's starting to 91. Just name on who they're, who he's taking on. Superfly Snuka, and then Jake the Snake Roberts, uh, Giant Gonzalez, uh, King Kong Bundy, Diesel, Psycho Sid, Kane, uh, Triple H, uh, Big Boss Man. This three is going to be Nature Boy Ric Flair, uh, Big Show and A-Train, uh, oh, Kane, uh, Randy Orton, and Mark Henry, Batista, Edge, this four, Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Triple H. Blu-ray edition is going to have extra on there. Uh, it's going to be uh, Edge uh, history package. And take a uh, well, history package on Shawn Michaels, uh, career history package, it says... Um, Triple H history package. Uh, I don't know. And they also have the streak in pictures. Uh, if you want to know anything else, hell, buy the thing next month. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.